your reaction personally to the border news that came through last night? Yeah, well, obviously, um, as a Victorian, it's pretty tough and a bit upset. I know a lot of us boys were planning to head back there, not just Victorians, but South Australians and every interstate player. Um, yeah, I was booked to go next on the 31st for six days on our six day break. So yeah, it's upsetting um, not being able to see my family. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit upset by it, but obviously we back the WA government in and their goal is to um, yeah protect the community and we're all for that as well. So um, yeah, just hopefully there's an end game to this sometime soon, but yeah, there's yeah not much we can do about it and just have to push on. Can we give us any insight into maybe how the group chats went last night and how the, the, your teammates have handled that? Yeah, I haven't. I think they're all, all a bit the same. Like, obviously, initial reaction, a bit upset you can't see the family. It's an important part to, to life, I guess, um, to spend time with family and your loved ones. But um, we haven't spoken about it as a group yet. I'm sure we will touch on it today, what it means for us as a football club. Obviously, um, like the last few years, there's going to be a lot we have to deal with and we're going to have to handle it and wrap our arms around each other and be a, be a family ourselves as a Freo community. So, and I'm sure we'll all handle that well and get around each other because a lot of us are in the same position. Is that a reality now, Darcy, that this could be another season where you're, you're travelling a lot as a team and, and hubbing at times? Yeah, it is a reality. Um, we already have spoken about that a bit, be prepared for anything, and I feel like the last few seasons have thrown that at us and we've sort of been able to handle every situation the best we can. So we've had experience in it and we're, we probably weren't expecting this season to be normal just yet because we know COVID's still around and there's still obviously border restrictions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we're prepared for everything. We'll touch on it as a group today and see how we can get the best competitive advantage because I think if we're able to handle it the best, it's going to help us to having a good season as well. So yeah, it is a reality and we just have to push on and work through it all. When, when did you last see your family? Um, we did hub there a bit last year, so I was able to see him, um, but not for extended periods, like it was only a couple of hours at a time um, when they come down and were able to sit in stands and watch the game, but we weren't able to make close contact and spend a lot of time with them. So yeah, it is tough. It's been like that the last couple of years, haven't been able to spend yeah more than a couple of hours at a time. So yeah, it's tough, but yeah, hopefully there's a bit of an end game to it soon and I'm sure when this season ends or whenever the borders open, I'll be able to spend some quality time with them, which will be good. Do you have plans to come here? Um, they haven't yet, but I had plans to get back in a month. But they, if the borders were open, they would have tried to get over a couple of times this year, which would have been nice. So this will be your third session, uh, third season being prepared for anything, as you say, mentally. You know, how many seasons can you get up for that for? Yeah, it's, it's tough, but like I said before, um, we've got a pretty strong group of boys that are mentally mentally strong and we're all in similar positions so we're going to wrap our arms around each other and get through it all together. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to say and hard to look too far in the future. We just have to take each day as it comes, each week as it comes and yeah, each season as it comes really. So um, yeah, we're prepared for anything and we know if we prepare well for it and stay strong together that it's going to help us to reaching success. How's January? started for you. Is this a period where you, you ramp things up a bit under JL and Phil Merriman? Yeah, it's been very solid actually, which is good, but all the boys have come back in ripping Nick, which is which is awesome to see. Um, had three weeks off over Christmas, but we still got together in training groups and trained hard and really kept ourselves um, fit and accountable to each other. So yeah, but the first, first week in a bit has been very solid and the weather doesn't help. It's nice and hot, but um, yeah, it's good to see we're having tough sessions and everyone's getting through it and we're training really well and ramping things up. It's probably the best time of the year when we're starting to have match simulations and more game practice. So yeah, it's the time of the year I love. So um, yeah, it's good to see we're ramping things up and getting close to packing matches really. There's no, um, no Adam Chera and even Fife and Mundy in rehab at the moment. Are you sort of seeing a spot on the ball possibly open up or are you looking at the wing? Yeah, a bit of both. Um, in the match simulations so far, I have been playing on ball, which has been really good. But speaking to JL, um, I do need that flexibility of roles, as a lot of our mids do. So I've been yeah, working on my wing stuff and midfield craft as well. But um, yeah, when it comes season time, we'll just see how the team flexibility goes and see where I can play. But yeah, I do see myself around the ball and on the wing, um, playing a bit of both of that this year. So 
yeah, it's where I love to play my footy and I'm excited to yeah get amongst it a bit. Is there ways that you've tried to evolve physically at all to, to sort of improve that aspect of your, your game on the wing? <clears throat> yeah, my running, I think. Um, coming into last year, I obviously off a serious hamstring injury, I was very limited in the off season, couldn't run, even the pre season, I missed probably three quarters of it before I joined the main group. Um, so I sort of felt that really yeah, hindered my performance last season. Um, I was probably fit in general, but my running ability wasn't at my best, I think. Um, so this year I've had a full off season doing the running program, which was a very hard program set by Phil Merriman and was able to get through it. And it's really set me up um, for this pre-season. I feel, feel like I'm running the best I ever have, um, which is allowing me to sort of Burst, burst from stoppages and stuff like that and really reach um, high speeds as well. So, um, yeah, I feel like that part of my game is really going to help me for the wing this year, I reckon. It seems like a, a part of the ground where there's, there's a few question marks for wings and there might be a few guys that are, are jockeying for those spots. Does it feel quite competitive out there? Yeah, he's competitive. I know um, I'm good friends with Blake Akers. He's, he's in ripping Nick as well. He's playing some good footy and... Um, running really well and there's Liam Henry who's stepping up onto the wing this year as well, Nathan O'Driscoll, so there's some really good talent um, going through there I think. So yeah, the competition for spots is, is really good, similar to the midfield as well. Um, got some new players in Neil Erasmus, Matt Johnson, um, and they're really impressing on the track. So yeah, look, competition for spots is always really healthy I think for our group and it's good to see and it's only going to push us to make, um, yeah, to make each other better. and. Um, reach that success that we're hoping for. So how does it go when Fife is obviously not involved with a lot of contact stuff at the moment? Does that up the intensity sort of jostling for who's the big dog in the guts? Yeah, a little bit, but I think, um, yeah, all our midfielders are competitive anyway, so um, whether Fife was in there or not, we're all going to have a crack. And But there is, obviously, at the moment, spots up for grabs, so everyone's having a real red-hot crack, which is good to see. Um, but yeah, the match simulation's been really high intensity, um, which is really good to see. Everyone's competitive, cracking in hard, and everyone's fit, like I said before. So it's to really high quality. So now we just need to pick up the game plan side of things. And um, yeah, I'm sure we'll be ready to hit the ground running once practice matches come around. Big wraps on a couple of the new recruits, plus there's some guys from last year I haven't seen a lot of. Them. Uh, of the younger guys who's impressed you so far? Yeah, Neil Erasmus, so obviously being a midfielder myself, I've been able to see what he can do um, yeah, pretty closely and he's, he's really fit, he's hard at it, um, got good skills as well and same as much Matt Johnson, got left and right foot, really good skills. So them two boys have really impressed me um, out in the track already but yeah, there's plenty to like from all the boys which is, it's hard to really single anyone out to be honest because everyone's come back in really good nick and a level up again from last year, I think. So, um, yeah, it's really going to push us to get to where we want to go, and that's what we need. Everyone rising to another level and um, competing for spots. That's just on Harley Bennett. How that been this process since coming Yeah, really hard. Um, I was obviously extremely close to Harley. I knew him before we got drafted, and we got drafted the same year together. I lived with him for the first year as well. So. Um, yeah, he was, he was like a brother to me in, in the first year here, so um, really hard to hear, but just really, yeah, feel for his family and for close friends. He was, a, he was a loved loved kid here. He put a smile on everyone's faces, and his smile was really contagious as well. Like, I, I love being around him, so it's, yeah, it's very sad. The water situation, obviously no one's on here could go to his family. Nah, it's, yeah, no one can obviously go there because it'd be hard to get back, but... I think it's being live, live streamed tomorrow, so I'll, I'll tune into that and make sure I watch it.